Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for the official virtual tour of Lake Livingston State Park. Of course, you already knew that because it was in the title. I'm shooting this on two different cameras of the Insta360. So if you're not familiar with that, you can actually watch that video on your cell phone and look all around. You can do it on your laptop, your tablet, Oculus. You can turn, look behind me, look down, look all around and see everything that my single camera does not capture. I also have the GoPro Hero 11. It's got super sharp stabilization. So let me gear up. We're going to be riding Sable, the high-speed mobility scooter. We're going to visit the whole park. We're going to go through the whole park. If you're only interested in seeing the campsites, the camping loops, you'll need to fast forward. Uh, the first loop we're going to visit is a pretty good haul. Uh, sites 97 through 100 something and it's the most removed camping loop and from there we will backtrack to the day use areas and finish up uh, at the full connection loop the Lake Livingston is an impound on the Trinity River. Uh, don't be surprised if you encounter a gator or two. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna put on some speed so we can go get to the stuff as fast as possible. We're in the first week of March, 24. Cold front just blew through, so it's a little bit chilly. We gotta run down here about three quarters of a mile. extensive hiking trail network I will have an insta 360 video of the boardwalk trail that'll be going that'll be dropping in a, I don't know three days I typically drop the insta 360 trail ride videos on Thursday. It's a really pretty park. It's not real ADA accessible in, in, in a lot of the day use area. If you want to see all of the stuff, Go back in time to this past Sunday. we won't have to go all the way back to the, the crossroad intersection to we only had to backtrack about half of that
archery. So if you like to shoot a bow and arrow, that's the place to do it. There is a dump station for this camping loop. I'm gonna go the wrong way. Oh no, we're gonna be breaking the law, breaking the law. That way y'all get a good look at the sites right here. I'm, I've been very impressed with how level most of the sites are. On our previous visit to Lake Livingston State Park, this is the loop we camped on. Now it does back up to a residential neighborhood, but it's pretty quiet. These are 30 amp sites. to the day use area. So beautiful. I really love this part of Texas. Up here on the left, that is a trailhead. That's the trailhead. That's where the boardwalk trail is located. a good turn here. This is where you'll find the store. Right over here so you can get a better perspective so this is the parking lot for the store fishing pier marina which is all down there boat ramp number one there are three boat ramps Number one, scoot around this little loop. 
they use picnic area. Hiking trail heading back over to the loop we just scooted, scooted through. This is the Briar Loop. Where a bunch of a bunch of kids going camping. These are all tent sites. There'll be a bunch of them. We're, we're, we're gonna break the law. We're breaking the law. Breaking the law. I'm not sure why it's closed off, but this, this looks like a private public partnership with the the tenter set up. I've seen these tents on a couple of other Texas state parks. facilities, the, the bathrooms and showers, they could stand some renovation. Coming up on boat ramp number two. This will give you another perspective of the store day use marina area. There's a parking lot for the boat ramp right there. It's just parking spot. Picnic area. Nice hiking trail goes all the way over to the RV loop playground. Here on the right, we have kayak rentals. This is also parking for the beach. So that's the swim area down there. It's not a beach, it's just a swim area. There is a lot of accessible shoreline here. Breaking the law, breaking the law.
far I haven't had any Barney Fife trouble. You don't know what that means. You gotta go back in time and watch some of my other scooter videos. We're gonna come back, we're gonna finish up on that one. That sign says one way, so we wanna go straight ahead. We're breaking the law. We're going the wrong way. sun is shining but the wind chill is about like 30. all right that's why y'all can see into the campsite that's what i'm trying to say These are all 30 amps. There are not any pull throughs at Lake Livingston State Park. So these may be 30, 50. I don't know. All very level. Park is extremely well maintained. Howdy.
will next be moving through the full connection which is probably the best camping loop and it's not because of the full connection it's because well you'll see show you this one this is parking for some of the cabins shelters and the boat ramp so that's shelters boat ramp number three there's also fishing on the courtesy dock okay Back to the tour. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I do too. All right, so we're gonna whip through the parking area for the cabins and then hit that last loop. Most of the cabins are ADA accessible. Actually, they all are, but number 10 is probably the least accessible. Of course, Dude RV is in number three for this visit. These are 50, 30 with sewer and their water side. <clears throat> People always ask me to point out sites that I like. Well, these are great sites. How can you go wrong with a waterside campsite? Of course, right now it's the coldest place to camp because of that north wind coming off the water. the site right there. What, what number is that? Oh, almost got one of those. Spot number 53.
Man, those are always so much fun. Thank you so much for riding along with me. If you're still with me at this point, tell me what part you enjoyed the best. What part of Lake Livingston State Park did you think was the coolest? If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm thing, so I can keep getting paid to make these videos for you. For those of you who have been following along, I cannot say thank you enough for your continued support and for my patrons. Touches my heart. Thank you for your generosity. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?